am Aaron Dominion, and this is the Creation Kit Scripting Series Papyrus Tutorials. And we're still in the Events and Functions section. This is the second part. And switching gears from events, we're going to start talking about functions. So what is a function? It is a collection of actions that are run when called. It's similar to events, except you have to have them contained somewhere and actually physically call it. The game won't call it for you. Um, examples of this. Uh, I provide player.move2 enemy. You saw a similar example in the last episode when we moved the skeever to uh, the player, which we'll be doing that again in the life coding section. Uh, we also have enemy.disable, which will make the enemy disappear, and enemy.enable. You might have seen some of these uh, in the object reference if you've been looking over the objects. If not, we'll cover that at a later time, but those are just other examples of functions. And basically, whenever you take whatever property or variable you have that's not like an integer or something like that, that's an object, and you use the dot, and you have uh, words after it, parentheses, and either there's uh, more variables in there or there's not, you're calling a function. So, when is a function called? It requires an event uh, or some method to execute it because it won't uh, run by itself. So, you either do it within your script, uh, have an event designated like event on a net, or um, you can use dialogue fragments if you call your quest or call the script within your quest and give it the function. Uh, so the example that I give here is just a on init event and we're getting the player and registering for the update. That will look familiar because we had that in the last episode. If you didn't see the last episode, well this might be new to you. Um, and so get player and register for single update game time are the functions that are called when on init is called by the game. So how do we create a new function? Because we have the built-in functions that Bethesda gives us for all of the objects, which we'll go into objects later. Uh, but you start with a function, and you give it a function name of some sort, and then you give it any parameters, which we'll be going over what parameters are in a later episode. We're just going over the basics in this one. Um, and then to end a function, you give it an end function keyword all on its own line. Uh, so a simple example I gave here, uh, we made our, I made a float function, or not a float function, float is the return type, we'll go into return types in a different episode as well, but we have function, add health, uh, you have the current health, and you have the added value, and uh, this function basically it's returning uh, what your health is currently and the new uh, value, which means, oh hey, the health is going to be bigger. So, again, this is going to be another short episode because we're just going over basics of functions, so you get a little bit of groundwork of ideas of what functions are. Uh, don't worry too much if you're a little confused. We're going to be going over the intricacies of functions in the following uh, episodes. So, let's go to our script. So, using the same cell as before, we just have changed our logic barrel to have a new script called functions basic. And let's see what we have here. So I copied over what was in the events basic into the script, but instead of just whenever the update happens, have the creature moved. Let's make our own function. Hell skeever breaks loose is what we're going to call this. And we're going to end the function and use the end function just to say um, habit you want to get into whenever you're making your own function. I'm going to use my style. So, um, arguments, I guess, is what I'm going to call it. 
Actually, no, I used this. Input. There's none. And then we give it the purpose of a function. The purpose of this function is to spawn this, is to move the skeever next to the player. Revive the skeever if necessary. So, to start off, we're going to check if the skeever is dead. And what we're going to do here is take our basic creature that we have listed here. And we need to go look at actor script right now that I have open from the creation kit. And we have an is dead as a valid function that we can call. Notice you can call functions within functions. You will need to know about that uh, for more complex operations, but for now just note, it, note that you can have functions called within other functions. Um, so we don't want to just call that by itself, since it returns a boolean value, uh, which is a truth value as we covered in past episode. We want to go there. Uh, basically, we're saying with this, if the creature is dead, we want to revive it. So, revive creature. Uh, let's look at actor script right now to see if we can find a res ah we want resurrect another function so we want to go here within basic creature dot resurrect so it will revive uh, the skeever once uh, it's killed or something like that whenever this function is called. So, and now move the skeever to the player. And let's take what we commented out up here and place it there. And finally, what we want to do just to show, oh, hey, this works, on multiple calls. We're going to re-register for the event. And now, just making a function block will not call the function. We need to call the function as our final step. So, Hellskeever breaks loose. And our function sh should be good, and this sh should work. Let's uh, edit our source and find out. All right, it compiled. So let's save this, and I will see you in a moment once Skyrim launches. All right, we are back, and Skyrim is loading. And we'll see uh, effects soon enough. Again, we're going to have a little bit of time here. This time, I'm going to give us a spell so we can kill it pretty easily. If you remember that spawn last time, if not, well, you could see this without me swinging my sword like a madman. Alright. Now we just wait the 0 0.3 in-game hours. I didn't do the math to see what that translates to. Uh, leave that exercise for you to see uh, what 0 0.3 game hours translates to minutes-wise.
any moment. There we go. Sorry for the waiting, but we gotta do that. Although, the wait shouldn't be as long because we spent some of that time dealing with the rat. Or Skeever, excuse me. There we go. So our function is called again. Keep doing that because we made it a loop, basically, with how that function keeps re-registering for the event. And we are back for the conclusion of the episode. Um, I have profiles in the Nexus uh, forums. Uh, links will be provided, as well as uh, the profile in general, so you can private message me. Uh, if you need to, YouTube also works. Uh, feel free to give me any questions about the content in this video over the basics of functions or any uh, scripting questions you have in general or uh, questions from the past videos. Um, also give me special requests if you have any special topics requests uh, for future videos. Hope these videos helped you out and see you for the next episode.